look at the old saying, form is temporary, class is permanent, and, and that can be said, especially about Kerry. They've got some of the classiest uh, forwards of the, the last 25 years playing still on their team. And, and then by, I don't think there's any of their forwards, apart from maybe Paul Gavin, that's over 30 years old. You know, their defence, um, maybe last year was ageing a wee bit, but they've certainly put in a few fresh faces into it this year. And they're playing as tough and as competitive, and they're getting stronger and stronger as the championship goes on. And, you know, they're still going to be there, thereabouts, come the end, business end of this year. Jimmy McGuinness certainly has this Donegal team moving well. You, you know, any team that can rack up 2 18 in Ulster final has certainly credentials to go on and, and do well in the championship. They were very, very negative last year. They were winning games, playing negative football last year, but they're certainly more um, expansive in, in the way they go about their business now. They're, they are still defending the numbers, but they're attacking at speed and they're attacking the numbers as well. I'm going to go with Kerry on this occasion. A lot of pe people are tipping Donegal. Um, but I will love for Kerry. I just think that their forwards are classier than any set of forwards out there at the minute. They're gaining more and more in confidence with, with every um, match they play and they're starting to put up big scores. And you can see, um, especially from the uh, performance overthrown, that there's a real um, will to win within them and, and they want to rectify the mistake from losing the All-Iron final last year and there's a, a burning desire to do that.